you see this right here? I'm sure you've done this a thousand times. I'm going to show you how to create your own package so that you or anyone else in the world can add it to their project with one simple command. And the best part is, it's going to be too easy. So let's do it. All right, so right here is a package I already created. You can see it's right here. It's already on the NPM registry. You can see it's 0.0.7. 0.0.7. All you do to update it when we're done setting this up, I'm going to say git add, git commit, whatever. And we're going to say git push. And then we're going to say npm version. And we're going to say either patch, minor, or major. We're going to click enter. And then we're going to say git push origin main dash dash tags. And so you can see when I did the npm version patch, it increased this version. And I've set this up with GitHub to automatically redeploy the new version. It uses this file right here. I'm going to walk you through all this. We're going to start from scratch. But I just want to show you how simple it is once we set it up. So now if we come over here, it's still 0.0.7. .0 if I refresh this, boom, 0.0.8. It's that simple. All we got to do is a few steps in the beginning so that moving forward, we can easily update it. So the first thing you're going to do is npm init dash y. You're going to create your npm project. I use pnpm, so I used pnpm. You're then going to update your package.json. So if you want this code, the GitHub link's in the description. And you may as well give it a star while you're there. I give you a bunch of code, you click a button, very fair trade. So you're pretty much just going to want to copy and paste all of this. Obviously, these dependencies are going to be yours. Author is going to be your name. You choose the keywords. These files can stay the same. You're going to want to change this because mine is a Next.js where I have some client functions and some server functions. So I export these separately. But if you just have one thing, then you can just remove this, remove this, remove this. And actually that will just simply be a dot. So yours is basically going to look just like this if you only have one export. Also, when you first start, you're going to want this to be all zero, 0.0.0. 0. 0. 0. Set the description of whatever you want. Main can be the same. Types is going to be the same. So I'm using PNPM. If you are using NPM instead, then it's going to look like this. It's going to be NPM run clean and TSC. NPM run build. So once you get this all set up, you're going to want to add TypeScript because if you're making a package with just JavaScript, you're fucked. So once you add these, I'm using PMPM. If you're using NPM, then it's going to be NPM install dash dash save dev and then these. And then you're going to run this command and that's going to initialize TypeScript. And again, if you're using NPM instead, then it's going to be this npx tsc dash dash init. And again, in the GitHub repo, you can just simply copy and paste this. But depending on the package you're using, you're going to want to maybe change this up a little bit. Mine is meant to work with Next.js and React. So I have this in here. Basically, you can just go to chat GPT and say, help me dial in my TS config file, explain what the project is about, whatever. So once you get all of that set up, you're going to create your index.ts file. So like I said earlier, I have client packages and server packages. And so this is where all of the exports are for each of these. You can write all the code you want, whatever. You don't have to set it up like this. I just set this up. That's how I wanted to organize it. So I have all of my public packages in the public folder. And I added all this JS doc right here so that when people hover over this, it's going to give them all of these messages. So I would definitely recommend doing something like that. So yeah, your index file is going to be where these things actually get exported from. So what I would do if I had a bunch of functions, I put them all in their own file in the public folder, and then I would come to the index folder and I would import all of them. Then I would export all of them like this. So there's just one file where all of the packages come from when you import them later. I would also recommend adding this. This is basically the default license for all of open source. So add that. You're going to want to add a readme. You're going to want to make this very good so people know how to use your NPM package. And what I would also do is come into your git ignore and I would add something notes.txt. And I just added this right here to deploy. You add, you commit, you NPM version, patch minor or major, and then you git push origin main dash dash tags. Now, the most important file we have here is this. It's in .github slash workflows publish.yaml. This is how we automate publishing to the NPM registry. So you can basically just simply copy and paste this. The only things you might want to change is I'm using PNPM. 
So you might not need this. If you're using NPM, you would just simply get rid of this and you would change this to NPM. And then this would be NPM run build. And then the rest is good. So the one thing I need to show you how to set up is this right here, this secrets.npm token. So in order to set this up, we're first gonna come to NPM. We're gonna click right here. We're going to go to access tokens. We're then gonna click generate new token. Classic token is fine. Then you're gonna name it whatever you want, doesn't really matter. And then you gotta click on publish. And then you're gonna generate the token. You're gonna copy that token. And then we're gonna go over to GitHub. You're gonna go to your repo. You're gonna click on settings. You're gonna come to secrets and variables. You're gonna come to actions. And then you're going to create a new repository secret. You have to call it npm underscore token. And then you're just gonna paste in your token. Actually, you don't have to name it npm token, but you just need to make sure that this is the same exact name as this. So once you set that up, all you have to do is follow these steps right here, and it's going to automatically publish it to the npm registry. So once you're all done with that, I would recommend coming to this about and adding the npm link right here. So just like that, you have a package on the npm registry and anyone can use it. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. You can hit me up on X. And while you're down there, you may as well subscribe. So there it is. You learned something, subscribe. You want to learn some more? Watch this video right here. See you next time.